Hey, Connor, what did you like the most about your guys' start this evening, especially in the first period? I thought we were playing quick. Um, everyone was connected. Uh, we moved as a unit, and, you know, there was no one slacking. Everyone wanted to play, and everyone was in it early. We'll go next to Marat Tetesh from The Athletic. Go ahead, Marat. Hi, Connor. This might overlap with that a lot. Um, my question is, what is the difference on a night when breakouts work really well and you guys are moving up the ice particularly well in transition? Well, it takes away any sustained momentum that they're trying to get, and um, it keeps the game out of our end. So uh, that's kind of kind of what the game is for. You know, it, we got to keep it out of our end and keep it in their end. And, you know, when you're breaking out that nicely, um, it allows us to play and right into our hand with our offense. And we'll go next to Ken Weeb from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Ken. Connor, what'd you see from Billy Handel on his uh, season debut tonight? No, I thought he was good. Uh, he's a great player and he's going to continue to get better. So um, I, I like him back there and he he's going to take some um, some time to meld with us. And I think a couple of practices will help. And then um, I think he's going to be a standout player in this league. And we'll go next to Jason Bell from the Free Press. Go ahead, Jason. Hey, Connor. Um... 150 wins now in your career in this in this organization. I don't know if you know that or if it means anything to you, but maybe just can you talk about you know what what your tenure has been like, what that number represents for you, and and uh, you know your development all the way to get to 150. Yeah, it's another one of those little proud moments. Um, I found it after the game. Uh, I kind of I ch kind of checked on where I was at games, and I didn't even realize. That I was close to a, a milestone for wins, so um, it just says a lot of, about the guys in front of me and um, about the team as a whole that um, we've been together and building building the right way and getting a lot of wins along the way. Uh, we'll go to next to Mike McIntyre from the Free Press. Go ahead, Mike. Thanks very much, Connor. I'm going to feel like a bit of a jerk for asking you about the one goal that goes in. If you're going to lose a shutout late in the game, would you prefer it on a beautiful goal or? a broken play that almost looked really lucky that they, they put that in and how frustrating is that? Well, I don't prefer any of them. Um, it makes me really angry because played almost a perfect game and then a guy shoots one wide and that's what happens. So um, I don't really care how it goes in. I just don't want it to go in. Um, for me, I, I like the, the team game and we got to win. So um, I'll be able to shake it off. It would have been nice to see a goose egg up there though. And final question to Jason Bell from the Free Press. Go ahead, Jason. I got a bonus one in here, Connor. Um, two saves in particular. I mean, I thought you had a huge save uh, right at the end of that first period when uh, they, they kind of, I think it was uh, uh, Davinov gets in on you and then Paquette is kind of alone and and, and, and uh, you stop him. Much Shafley goes all the way down and scores. I mean, there was a couple of saves that could have, that you preserve a one nothing lead and then you you almost create a, an opportunity for a 2 nothing lead. Are those ones that stick out in your head? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, that's when I was called upon and um, I did my job. So, I mean, everyone out there did their job tonight. Everyone was fantastic. And, you know, it was a really fun game to watch and, and be a part of.